Welcome to Divine Lotus Tarot. We are going to be taking a look at who is doing black magic on your sex life. First, before we get into the reading, I want to invite you all to book a personal private session through my website, www.divinelotustarot.com. You can find the link in the description box below this video. Also, I want to welcome and invite you all to follow my other social media sites. And you can find the information and the links to those in the description box below this video as well. So we're going to go ahead and get into the reading. We're going to take a look at who is doing black magic on your sex life. We're going to start with the zodiac sign of cancer. Go through each of the 12 zodiac signs and end with Gemini. So feel free to watch all the other um, zodiac birth chart placements that you have for each zodiac sign. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the reading. So for those of you with significant placements of cancer in your birth chart, we have the four of swords energy coming out. So this is giving me air sign energy. Okay, so it could be someone who has significant placements of a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It also could be someone who is a sun sign Aquarius and a sun sign Libra individual. But I do also have the energy of an elder so it feels like someone who would be um considered an elder is doing um black magic specifically on your sex life okay so for some of you this individual does not want you to be able to get it up okay or they don't want you to be able to get aroused is what i'm getting now in some instances this is because some of you what's the word you rejected this individual you t it, it would have been someone who you turned down so you could have I'm hearing you politely turn this individual down but I apparently this individual didn't take too well to it because they're <laughs> they're doing dark magic on your sex life so for some of you this is um an individual who's married and this could be someone who's like tried to pursue you several times and they've been consistently like at it because it's like they're trying to like they're trying to what's the word like like what is it called it's like you know someone's trying to be so persistent that it's like wear you out to the point that you're eventually going to say yes to them so it's like someone someone feels like by continuing to be persistent that they're going to like eventually like get you to comply so for those of you who have significant placements of leo in your birth chart we have the ace of cups coming up so this could be someone who has a uh, water water in their birth chart so cancer Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and I'm also hearing Leo. So it could be someone who has Leo in their um, birth chart as well, too. So we have other relatives. So this could be like individuals who are cousins, nieces, nephews, other extended family members who are like not your immediate family. Um, we have a girlfriend. So this is either your girlfriend, someone else's girlfriend. Okay, or someone who you are the girlfriend to. We got someone going through legal issues. We have a mistress or a mister. So whoever your mistress or your mister is. And then we have a mother. So this could be your mother, someone else's mother, someone you look at like a mother. Okay. Or if you happen to be with someone who has kids, then it's the mother of the individual who you're with kids so whoever you're with if they have kids it would be the mother of the children okay okay so for some of y'all there's a situation where somebody wants their lover back so whoever you're with it could be the ex wants their partner back it's almost like someone is like trying to make you hypersexual so that this individual doesn't trust you. So essentially put you, for you to put yourself in a compromising situation where you go out and have sex with someone else so that this individual doesn't trust you and then wants to return back to them is what I'm getting. And then at the same time, I'm seeing someone do black magic on whoever your partner is to make them more attracted to them and not be attracted to you so it's a lot and it's weird but yeah 
So for those of you with significant placements of Virgo in your birth chart, we have the Prince of Pentacles coming up. So this could be a Virgo energy, but yeah, it also, um, it could, it could be a Virgo sun sign, but it's also giving just earth energy. So Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo placements in their birth chart. We have the energy of Virgo coming up again. Um, so that's just reconfirming that Virgo energy. We have Pisces, Libra, and also Leo. Okay. And then we also have someone who's going through some type of legal issues. Okay. So this could be for some of you, someone who you are currently dating or someone who you dated. Um, but I feel like this individual is not quite sure. Like it's like someone didn't get the closure. Okay. Someone didn't get closure in regards to a situation. There was, there's, there's something that someone feels like they're missing um, as to why you just left this individual or this person could feel like you just left this person hanging um, is what I'm saying. So I'm getting mistress, mister energy. Yeah, I'm getting that energy. So this this is someone who is a mistress or a mister. Um, and this individual just feels like I'm hearing unrequited. So they don't understand why you just all of a sudden just stop dealing with them. So in some instances, some of y'all are still connected to this individual. Okay, whether it's financially, emotionally, or sexually, but there is some aspect that you have cut off with this individual because they don't have closure in regards to whatever aspect you close yourself off to them. So this is still someone who's very much present up in your energy that you still are connected to in some form or fashion. But yeah, this is the individual doing black magic on your sex life okay so for those of you with significant placements of libra in your birth chart we have the six of wands so this could represent um a leo an aries sagittarius individual uh that has these placements in their birth chart um we have scorpio energy coming out very strongly here so um we also have a co-worker so this could be someone who you work with we have a new lover so this could be someone who you are newly um loving on <laughs> and then we have grandpa energy so this is your grandpa someone else's grandpa someone you look at like a grandpa and then in the instance again um because i feel this energy came up for y'all in a different reading it could be a co-worker who is your new love interest so for some of you it's someone you're working with and it is your love interest and in other instances it's a co-worker and then it's a love interest and those are separate energies okay so and then there's also strong Leo energy here as well too. So the person could be a sun sign Leo as well too. And then I'm hearing Libra. So Scorpio, Leo, Libra, these individuals could have significant placements of fire in their birth chart. So what I'm getting is for some of you, it's like you transformed someone's life through your sex. Ever since this person had sex with you, this person has not been the same. And it's like, they've been acting different. They've been acting brand new. So it's almost like something about your sex has like, renewed this individual it's healed this individual um maybe because we also have that co-worker energy here maybe someone's career took off or their status or their image um changed in some way that they really feel is like successful to them or or rewarding to them okay okay so whoever this individual is it's like this person is very like crazy over you it's like they're crazy possessive over you so it's like once you gave yourself sexually to this individual this changed this individual's life not only like financially career wise status wise monetarily wise but also like mentally it's like this person is like it feels like this individual is obsessed with you now okay um and all this person does is think about you. <laughs> okay, disclaimer, Libra, it kind of feel like you could have did some type of magic on this individual as well too. So if you did some magic on this individual to get this person, this person is now doing magic on you. And it's like, but this person feels crazy. I'm gonna just be honest. This person feels a little cuckoo they feel crazy they feel like um very obsessed with your energy okay 
But if it wasn't specifically like magic or nothing like that, like maybe some of y'all just got a magic, you know, peach or a magic stick and you probably not the type of individual who should just be giving that out to just anyone, especially people who, who, whoever this is that is like obsessed and like a stalker now um, over you because it just feels like you probably shouldn't be giving that to any and everybody. Um <laughs> Cause this person don't know how to act. That's what I feel. I feel like this this is the type of person this person do not know how to act. And if you haven't not seen this side of this individual yet, well you damn sure about to see it, okay? And then uh yeah, it just feel like this person is just really obsessed with like ensuring that like they get a baby with you as well too. I mean, I don't really honestly even see marriage. I just feel like this person wants to solidify getting pregnant by you. Or you getting them pregnant. Anyways, moving on. Okay, so for those of you with significant placements of Scorpio in your birth chart, we have the Ace of Wands energy. So this could imply that someone has significant placements of Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in their birth chart. We have the energy here of the Zodiac sign Virgo. And then we have uh, an other relative. So it could be an, a cousin or some other type of extended family member that is not part of your immediate family. So the energies here is that I'm picking up is like there is someone who wants to make you lose the desire to in to have sex in general um or it could be someone who just wants you to lose the desire to have like kids because I'm getting conception energy as well too. So maybe for some of you you have um been experiencing like losses um with pregnancies or you have not been able to successfully um conceive because i'm getting some type of conception energy so these individuals are full-fledged like doing black magic to impact your ability to get pregnant or get someone pregnant okay um and it's like someone wants you to lose the desire to do this ever and this could be something that has been going on since your childhood because we do have other relative energy here. So this definitely could be something that some other relative has been doing to you ever since you were a child. So someone could have been doing a working on you ever since you were a child in regards to this. Now for others of you, this could definitely could be other relatives but i'm also picking up an energy of i'm seeing someone who it's like someone who's obsessed with you from your childhood still so this could be someone who you were with or someone who maybe you rejected who just like had some type of delusions of grandeur in their head that they wanted to be with you when when they were um when when you were little or who you grew up with but either way um whether this is a, a childhood like fling or crush or love interest or whatever or someone who just always had a crush on you just never said anything to you it's like I, I feel this individual always looked at you in the light of like someone who they wanted to be with so I feel like this could be someone in that instance doing this as well too because I'm hearing ovaries now so someone definitely was like has been doing this on you since whoever it is or whoever these people are relatives former exes or past childhood sweethearts or people who just had crushes on you these people have been doing this to you since you were little okay so for those of y'all with significant placements of sagittarius in your birth chart we have the devil card coming up okay so that is could be um i mean the devil is associated with capricorn energy so it could be someone who has very strong capricorn um placements um the devil energy also is just giving me a sense that it's just you have obsessed individuals um obsessed with your damn sex or obsessed with your sex life um is what i'm seeing this is definitely that that binding energy that keeps coming up in these collective messages okay um we have the energy of scorpio being here 
we have the energy of Aries being here. So it could be a sun sign Scorpio or a sun sign Aries individual. We also have the energy of an uncle here. So it could be your uncle, someone else's uncle, or potentially someone who you could have looked at like an uncle. So we also have the energy of Taurus coming through and we also have the energy of Cancer coming through. So we got Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Capricorn energy very strongly. Or just weird ass people who are hella obsessed. And this could just be individuals like excessively doing this. This this could also be what this entails. So it could be a Capricorn individual or someone with very strong Capricorn influence in their birth chart. Um, but this also could entail that whoever these zodiac signs are that we named or just whoever these individuals are, um, they're excessively doing this. Like excessively, extremely going over the top doing this. Like this is a weird, sick, twisted, guilty pleasure of these individuals to do dark magic on your sex life. Like they're literally addicted to doing this. So for some of you, these individuals have collectively collabor collaborating and doing this uh, type of sex binding magic on you all um, to prevent you from having a successful relationship or a successful happy home so if some of you have um had relationships that just go south out of nowhere it's because you have these individuals um for some of you it's family members for others of you it's just other individuals i don't know it's very sick twisted and perverse um what these individuals are like binding themselves to you um through sex magic though like black magic through sex magic but i feel like yeah they're definitely trying to negatively influence um and control like it's a it's a form of control but i feel like they're so addicted and obsessed with your life and your love life and you in general um they've been doing this as a form and measure of control so for some of you sagittarius um placement individuals um this could be individuals who you actually have had sex with and then it's almost like these people have become uh maniacs after you know ob obsessed with you and like don't want to let you go so these could be people who you are no longer with right um and it clearly shows exactly why because they're still doing weird shit you know what i'm saying um, but this also could be individuals who you're not. Because like I said, we had that uncle energy come up as well too. So um, it could be people who, you, who you've had sex with, people who you haven't had sex with. But I feel like, um, yeah, I just feel like it's a weird perversion, weird obsession that these individuals get a, a kick out of doing this. Um, and it also looks like for some of you that this could have been going on since you were younger as well is when I'm picking up that energy. So they could have, uh, it could have been a collaborative effort um, with whether these are your family members or some some group of individuals, uh, your friends or other individuals to like do this is what I'm seeing. But I'm seeing individuals doing this ever since you were younger. And this resonates with the Scorpio the, the Scorpio um, energy that I just previously did. So this could be individuals as well too trying to negatively impact your ability to have children, which hence is this is why this has been going on since you were a child. So it's like these individuals don't want you to get pregnant or they don't want you to impregnate um, to be able to impregnate is what I'm seeing. And then last but not least, before I move on and go to the next sign, it looks as well too like that this had been done in order to break up some type of relationship or marriage or connection that you previously had. Okay. So for those of you with significant placements of Capricorn in your birth chart, we have the King of Swords energy. So this definitely could represent someone who is an Aquarius individual. Um, we also have the energy of Capricorn coming up and we have Sagittarius coming up. And then we have the energy of a sun. So this could be your son, someone else's son, someone you look at like a son or someone who you may have a son with. 
Okay, so for those of you with significant placements of Capricorn, um, what I'm getting more so than anything, I'm not really getting like spells, hexes, curses, and shit like that. I'm more so getting like either lie slander or gossip with this um for you all so regardless if it's true or not i feel like individuals are ne um are doing black magic against your sex life because they're talking about like things pertaining to like for some of you it's like your bodily fluids or your body odor so like it could be like for females like someone could be saying that you have like a yeast infection um or you know talking about your body odor and whatnot and then for males it's something to do with like the how your bodily um fluid that you release when you're done having sex how it tastes but it don't taste good that's what i'm picking up as well as it could be like someone talking about like your finishing move like your finishing release like how like how the consistency of it or like how it you know produced or whatever the, the word would be the flow of it you know what i'm saying your bodily fluids once you were done um having sex once you reached your peak you know what i'm saying so i just feel like more so that is what's going on for y'all it's like more so people talking about things pertaining to like private bodily fluid oriented situations for y'all Okay, moving on to those of you with significant placements of Aquarius in your birth chart. So we have the Hierophant card coming up. So this is very strong Taurus energy. So this is someone who is a sun sign Taurus or they have significant placements strongly of Taurus in their birth chart. We also have the energy um, of other zodiac signs coming through of Scorpio, Libra. And then we have a friend slash associate energy. So this could be someone who you consider a friend or someone who you consider an associate. Um... Or this could be friends or associates of whoever these other individuals are um, who are like assisting and helping these individuals. I also, um, when I turned over the Hierophant card, heard witch doctor. So this individual who is a Taurus could be a witch doctor or they could have um, hired a witch doctor to do this black magic on your sex life. Okay, so I heard playing fair. So I feel like whoever these individuals are um, who are... Um, doing this black magic on your sex life Aquarius um, they're not interested in playing fair because we have the Hierophant clarifying the Hierophant energy we have the Ten of Pentacles coming up I feel someone is just very entitled and feeling like that they want to guarantee some type of marriage with you like some higher um, higher committed um, level of a relationship with you which it, it feels very strongly like someone is like feeling like they're going to get a marriage with you one way or another so that could be why this individual has employed the assistance of using a witch doctor okay and also heard angelic as well too so for some of you this could be someone who may try to come off uh, with an appearance of that they're angelic or it could just be someone who you just don't really think who would be doing this is doing this to you i'm also getting aquarius um that you are supposed to go into a uh, a commitment with someone um that you either are aware of this or you are going to become aware of who this individual is and these individuals have been trying to throw you off the path because these individuals have been getting readings done on you i feel this energy keeps coming up around your energy so yeah whoever these individuals these obsessive individuals who you tend to attract they thoroughly and extensively do uh, get tarot psychic readings um astrology readings all types of other divination type of readings into your birth chart um and then they try to come into your life and align with whatever they are being told is the individual who you're supposed to be be with so for some of you you may keep getting like duped to be with someone who you i guess you may consider a soulmate because some of you may believe in soulmates is what i'm getting and um, I feel these individuals are thoroughly doing extensive, uh, you know, divination on you or having this done on you so that they could try to mimic and play the role of whoever this individual is that's coming into your life who you're supposed to be with um, is what I'm getting. 
Okay, so for those of you with significant placements of Pisces in your birth chart, we have the Hermit card. So this could entail that this is an individual who's a Virgo. Um, we have also um, someone who could have um, placements of Taurus in their birth chart. And then we have someone, um, it could be your son, someone else's son, or someone you look like. Uh, sorry, someone who someone who looks like your son or someone who you have a son with as well as someone who you may have like like a play son someone who you have adopted in to be like your son there's also strong scorpio and aquarius energy here as well too whoever this is for you all pisces these could be individuals where you could have um cheated on these individuals so these individuals feel like they're being vindicated by doing this to you. So that is that. So for those of you with significant placements of Aries in your birth chart, we have the seven of wands energy coming up. This could be someone who has significant placements of Sagittarius, Leo, Aries in their birth chart. We also have the energy of someone who you could have a, a, a baby boy with. So um, whoever you have a baby boy with um, could potentially be the individual doing this on you as well too. Um, what I do feel um, with this individual there seems to be an energy of infidelity around you all that someone is trying to prevent you from doing. Now, in some instances, for a few of you all, you could be very monogamous, but someone is just trying to guarantee that you don't. So that's what I'm getting. Like someone could um, essentially make you not have a desire for other individuals is what I'm getting. It's like essentially like you only desire them. You only want them. You only see them. And then for others of you, this is due to the fact that some of y'all, which I feel is the majority um, of y'all have, there has been some type of infidelity issue in the relationship. And this individual has done this on you so that essentially you, you no longer continue to step outside of the relationship. Okay. So for those of you with significant placements of Taurus in your birth chart, we have the eight of pentacles coming up so this could be someone who has other significant placements of earth in their birth chart virgo taurus capricorn in their birth chart we also have the energy of an aries and i heard that you don't fuck with so there's an aries that you don't fuck with um and then we also have the energy of divorce being here so this could be someone who is divorced um or so i'm hearing newly divorced so this could be someone who's newly divorced someone that you are newly divorced from okay um for others of you there is energies around someone who was a new lover we have a co-worker energy here we have a grandpa energy here so this could be your grandpa someone else's grandpa or someone you look at like a grandpa and then we got complicated energy around this situation as well too so um further clarifying the complicated energy around who could be doing this i'm seeing that it could be someone who you have a new baby with and you and this individual don't see eye to eye you could not be on good terms or speaking terms however it seems like the two of you still have to co-parent so it's like someone you still have to deal with but yet you don't deal with this individual now what i'm also picking up is for those of you where you're divorced or separated or broken up from someone who is doing this black magic at you this individual still wants another opportunity to work things out with you i'm not sure if they made this known to you or not because like i said it seems like you are not speaking to some of these individuals um or you're not on good terms with these individuals but it also feels like this individual is directing and doing black magic at the individual who is your new lover or who they feel is someone who you are viewing as a new lover and then i also feel as well to whoever these individuals are that's doing the black magic on your sex life for some of them they're definitely hella pressed they could be losing a lot of sleep over you i feel like they're putting in a lot of time effort energy work resources and money into um doing this to you but i feel like as well too these individuals are like highly pressed highly stressed out so you would know who these individuals are probably just because you know who this who these individuals are because you you would know who you're not trying to get back with so that would be that and then at the same time these individuals are going to have like a frazzled type of energy be very stressed um type of energy is what i feel like so these could be people a little bit yeah their their mental is hella fragile right now because i feel like they're going into overdrive and working overtime to try to um 
neg you know to do this black magic work or have it done and for some of them their finances are being depleted you know they're exhausting all means measures and resources um and just spending a lot of time and energy doing this and it's not yielding the results that they want is what i'm seeing so they're, they're hella stressed they're hella pressed they're losing sleep over you and over this situation Okay, lastly, we're looking at Gemini. So um, for those of you with significant placements of Gemini in your birth chart, we have the Nine of Wands. So this could be Sagittarius energies, Aries, Leo energies um, that the, these individuals could have in their birth chart. I also have the energy of Sagittarius here. We have the energy, um, the zodiac energy of Sagittarius. We have the zodiac energy of Gemini. So it could be another Gemini individual. Um, and then we have the energy of a wife. So it could be someone's wife or your wife. Okay. Or the wife of someone who you slept with. I'm definitely getting the energy for a lot of you. This is like old flings energy. So uh, relationships for a lot of you that weren't like serious. Or that you, you didn't necessarily take really serious. So it could have been just a situation. Even if you were with these individuals long term. It could have been maybe individuals that you just simply looked at as like sexually based or just like a like it was very casual even if you were with this person for a long time but i'm getting a lot of fleeing casual type of energy around this um just very short-term relationships so these could be people um who are upset because of that because essentially you you kind of brushed them off like like they weren't anything like they didn't matter like very short-lived type of relationships or just the fact of maybe how you just cut them off um and no longer deal with them in in that same manner yeah there's energy of individuals who these are individuals from who you no longer deal with so these are individuals doing black magic on your sex life who are upset because you cut them off that you no longer deal with them in that manner i feel like these are individuals who are very spiteful and vindictive doing this so those are all the messages i have for you all i hope you enjoyed that reading um if you would like to book a personal private session of your own you can click the link to my website in the description box below this video and my website is www.divinelotustarot.com.